Hey, what's going on guys? I want to talk about staying positive and working together as a team in League of Legends. So this is a huge issue in this game of people going on tilt, being negative, um, trolling in chat, etc. Obviously if you've played League of Legends, you've run into these issues before, come across them, or even done them yourself. So for me, I try to stay positive as much as possible, but it's really easy to get negative and occasionally I do get negative or go on tilt, especially when I'm playing against a strong opponent or my expectations are too high. Or, you know, so there's a whole bunch of reasons why this happens. But for the most part, I try to stay positive um, no matter what because I feel like at our ELO and I'm silver, there's always a chance for you to come back. And, you know, whether you're playing in bronze or gold, I still think that's a fair evaluation. Even in, in any ELO, in any game, even in the LCS, people can come back. Obviously, there are some points in the game where it's going to be way too hard for you to come back. The difference is just way too far, the gold amount. You have to be smart about it you can't just think unrealistically but in most games especially if you're on the lower elo like i said there is a way to come back if you play smart and play conservatively so in this game for example i'm jungling and my friend nzp is in the mid lane against yasio so he dies twice to yasio pretty early on in the match and he wants to give up he's level four yasio is level six um you'll see the clip in a couple of seconds here of, of what goes on but i'm saying that we should stay positive this yasio might make a mistake and this happens overall, no matter what lane you're in, even if it's the jungler, people who get up early usually do make mistakes. They start to play more aggressive. I do the same thing, and you probably do the same thing, right? You get ahead in the game, and you also want to further your lead, play more aggressive, or you think you're more powerful, you get a little cocky or overconfident. And for the most part, most people do that, and they will make a mistake. So I think that if you play smart, if you're down in lane, you can take advantage of the player, um, a mistake they made going 2-0 in, catching them under turret, then diving you, etc. And now, in this case, we're on Skype, we're playing with our teammates, I'm jungling. There's a lot you can do. You can call for your jungler, you can say, hey, the mid laner's playing really aggressive, his flash is down, like come in for a gank. And this can completely change the tides of the game into your favor. So this is huge. I'm gonna show this clip of me basically doing this to my friend and him not listening to me and showing you guys visual proof of, of how this works and how you can turn around games. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit throughout, so uh, check it out. What level is Yasuo? You want to go in on him? Six. No? no, I'm level four. I can't mm -hmm. do this Yasuo anymore. My lane's over. Alright, don't say that. No, it's over. I got, look at his over. CS mine. He's got first blood. Like, it, it's over. Alright. Don't be, don't be needlessly positive, right? I fucked up and... Oh, that's no, it. it's not over forever. He can make a mistake. I don't even have my ult. I don't do damage. Like Alright, then, then don't go all in. I'm just, I just want to piss him off. Awesome. Now you're back in, Steve. That. Nice job. See? People make mistakes. They get cocky. So as you guys just saw in that clip, I predicted that accurately in the game, even though Yasuo was up 2-0, for some reason, he had no health. Um, he could have just stayed on a tower and back. He thought he could get greedy, get the kill on Diana by alting, which, you know, if you are fed Yasuo with the more um, items, he definitely could have done that. But there was no reason for him to do that, so we were able to secure the kill, and this started to kind of change the course of the game and, and the mid lane laning phase. Shit, oh, very fucking nice, see? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Got cocky, man. Alright, so even after we ganked Yasuo one time, he's still disrespecting Diana in lane, and I come through lane, which he definitely saw me there, so I also think he's disrespecting the ability of Hecarim. He's being overly confident, tries to go into Diana, and then he realizes a mistake, tries to leave, but it's already too late, especially when you're playing against uh, Diana, who has a good uh, sticky ability uh, with her ult, and then Hecarim with my speed up ability. So that's a nice second kill for Diana, and now the lane is even, almost in our favor, because he's probably going on tilt. The momentum is in our favor. You ready for this again? Yeah. He's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Very nice, dude. I'm coming back top. Alright, good. And finally here, that was my last clip. After a third successful gank, 
Yasuo is completely on tilt. He's not considering any options here of me ganking, even though I just have ganked him twice before. He didn't ward his bush. He's still playing aggressively. And essentially, we flipped the table on Yasuo. He's still acting confident. I'm not really sure why. Maybe he's on tilt. Now he's frustrated because we've ganked the lane. And now the, the other lanes are doing well you can see that the score is 11 to 2 and we've totally flipped this game around uh, just from being positive but the other way around if you got negative um the plays didn't work out that well or, or we didn't try to use any teamwork the score could be completely flipped and we would be forfeiting in 10 minutes so remember guys it's important to stay positive especially if you play with your friends well really especially if you play with other players but make sure your friends stay positive but when you're playing with other players it's important to to be nice to them and try to like i say i, I coddle them like babies when i play league because there's nothing worse than playing with someone who's on tilt or super negative and they start feeding i always just try to speak politely with them in chat i try to help them if i'm jungling or you know congratulate them if they're doing a good job and just try to increase the teamwork because league legends is a long game and i feel like if you're going to play a 40 minute game and you lose or someone goes on tilt and you just fight with people you're just wasting your own time by playing a 40 minute to one hour game so to me if i'm going to play a game i want to make it worth it i know it's just a video game and you don't have to take it that seriously but if you're playing league of legends you like the game and you're using your time you like it enough to use your valuable time to play the game so you might as well take it seriously and try to win at it at least because that's the point of uh, playing the game so i hope this is a good tip for you guys and a good reminder to uh, stay positive so thanks for watching everybody blitz five i'm out